Good afternoon, my friends, teacher, and parents. Today, I will present about the unity helping others. So, if, which is unity in our state ebook? So, before I start, I want to ask my friend a question. What is fundraising? Me, me, me. Yeah. Um, I think fundraising is like a project something that raise money for the purpose to do something like that fundraising uh, nice answer how about you paul paul can you answer me i think fundraising is when we do something to make a money and donate it yes so both of them are correct and fundraising in an easy way to understand mean to collect a sum of money for charity and these are some ideas for of fundraising. First one is big sale and concert, and another one is selling us work. Then the money we got from this will go to a charity or to help our community and others. There are many, there's many other things to do for fundraising, like we could sell chocolate bus or we could help them show and get money by selling the tickets. Imagine that we will have a fundraising at this case. Can you suggest me what we could do, Janine? Uh, <clears throat> uh, I think we can put a poster. Yes, oh, thank you. So, about the fundraising and helping others, many people around the world have le less money for the charity, including kids like us. For example, the big Mulligan at will pay her guitar and sing at parties and wedding to earn money and donate some of them to the charity. And Charlie Slim has so more than 200 illustrations online and donates all the money to human society to help stress cat and dogs and how about us what could we do to help our community in our school allow us and the charity no no um for the answer like this i think we can just post it in um social media or something like that very good answer and cam what did, what do you think I think we can uh, maybe ha have some like participate in some festival and promote it, maybe? <laughs> yes, yes, we can earn some money for charity by that too. So though fundraising might look easy to learn some activities, there are actually many things to do to learn the financing. For example, if we want to have a bake sale, we have to prepare for the food, ingredients, and how to bake the pies and of course the poster. Now, no one can do all those things by oneself. So if you have a chance to do a bake sale in the future, could you please help me with this thing? Of course, me and Nono can help you with the both. Um, Nene, can you, could you help me? Yes, I can help you. Thank you. How about you, Pao? Could you help? Could could you help me too? Yes, for sure. Uh, thank you very much, you guys. So then I will do the poster. Yes, parents. You might think that poster isn't important or hard to make, but it's one of the most important things in fundraising and every fair. Poster is one of the advertisements that gives information to everyone who passes by. It is used to invite and inform guests in every single event, including fundraising. The most important thing about the poster is that it has to look effective enough to catch people's eyes. And to make poster look interesting and catch people's eyes, it should include first the font. The font style is very important. With the same sentence and color, the different font can give you a different feeling. For example, look at these two pictures. 
They have the same red color sentence but different font. The second one gives a dangerous and scary feel like in a hollow movie. Meanwhile, the third one gave a better vibe, though it's not that good for me anyway in those kinds of sentence with red color. And the next one is font size. It can be too big or too small. The important thing is that it must be easy to read and the title must be bigger than the content. And the last thing about the font is better color. Of course, it shouldn't be the same as background or in the color that we really have to read, like yellow cause it too bright. Then the next one is the amount of text. The amount of text must cover all the information, but not too much. People might get less interest because of too much text. The third one is images. Of course, they must relate to the content. And the last one is the layout. Look at this poster. It might look beautiful and colorful, but the picture is too big, like it shuts our eyes only on it. In that case, people might not give interest to the information or might not see it, and it isn't a good thing. Also, the information is not that clear. Right? This photo doesn't tell when will the big sale start or end. It just tells our day. But in this one, the picture isn't too big. Also, the layout and text on this poster make the information easy to read and it looks attractive enough to catch people's eyes. So if you get a chance to make a poster, don't forget about these four important things. It will make your poster look incredible. And that the best thing for your poster is if your poster is for promoting something. Uh, that's the end of my presentation. Thank you.